Hello, you guys, and blessings. It is High Priestess Jamila. And so, first of all, happy Saturday. Today is Saturday, April the 27th of 2024. And before I get started telling you guys about this beautiful pink healing and abundance for women, I wanted to let you know that the goddess loves you, that God loves you. Lilith loves you, Hecate loves you, Santa Martha loves you, okay? But let's get into this working. So this is called My Pink Healing and Abundance, okay, working. and But I can't tell you what it's about. I know that sucks. And then my light went out. Wow. I'm going to see if I can fix that. Perfect. So I was able to fix it. So this is a specialized working. Uh, it will be up on the website. I was able to get some amazing pictures of it. Um, just not with the baby's breath. I may have to take a couple of pictures with the baby's breath. And so the baby's breath is just you know, one of those little mini altars that we set up because, you know, whenever we do this work, it's always a mini altar. But it's really pink. Um, and so before I lit up this alchemy working, you can see where it actually turned pink as opposed to the other working that I'm going to be showing you guys pretty soon. That one actually turned green, which was really interesting. And this actually has a little bit of Damiana and mugwort in it. But pink overtook this one for some reason. And so, you know, that's why I kind of decided to call it the pink healing and abundance and protection. So we do have a binding cord here, which I would have preferred to use pink, but this uh, Heather Gray is just fine. And so this is one of my candle workings where I attach it to a larger candle and it just burns. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about this one. Like I said, um, it will be up on the website. Um, but just to give you guys a hint, it does have a gallon gal in it. It does have a struggleless in it. So, you know, it is for some serious, deep, deep healing protection and manifestation. So I actually have two secretive petitions that I'm going to put into it and it's good. It's not anything crazy. Okay. And so first... I'm going to burn the initial petition into it, and I'm just putting some accelerant on it, and then we will burn. We will burn this, okay? And this is a manifestation working. Like I said, this one is a wonderful and very powerful addition to... Uh, uh, workings uh, involving, I'm not going to say. All right, so we're just going to burn it. It smells great because I use eucalyptus. I have a tendency to use scissors. I know that they're symbolic of cutting something, but it's all about intention. The uh, We just need something to grip and grab. So this is just as good. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. So a lot of people are not interested in the healing. And this is another thing that I meant to say. A lot of people, uh, you know, hey, I get it. We're at war. I've got three war, black, black is night war candles going over there. And yeah, I did do that. But you know what? You owe it to yourself to do your healing. Okay, so yeah, we have war in case that we need to go into spiritual war, but it is very important for you to do an effective healing and a binding that way that that spiritual war is not, um, you know, taking too much out of you. So this is done. We're just going to stick that down in there and I left plenty of room. Now it's not going to be pink anymore except at the bottom because that 
uh, blackened petition is going to uh, turn it dark. But it's okay. But it's wonderful looking at the colors when it first starts. Uh, and, you know, that's a part of the magic, okay, uh, with these alchemy bottles, okay? So that's why I always show it to you guys when they're done. Now, the other piece of paper that I'm going to burn into it is a manifestation paper, but I'm not going to say what, okay? That is a surprise. It's a secret. If you get this ritual, um, then you guys will find out, okay? So we're going to burn this one, too. And I tried to make this smaller instead of making it a full sheet of paper, but that's okay. And I don't want you guys to see what this is. And yeah, so if you contact me behind the scenes for a confidential or if you are an already existing client um, or student or apprentice or a sister of my company, uh, or an you know investor that gets work done through me, um, I will tell you exactly what this is, okay? And by the way, for my TikTok followers as well as YouTube, I have been super duper busy, have not had the opportunity to put up the Patreon, but eventually the details of this particular working uh, is going to be discussed via Patreon for purposes of informational only. Um, I do not offer like classes through Patreon, but valuable information. My classes are held one on one via Zoom. OK. All right. So we're going to let this burn and that paper looks like it's really, really burned to a crisp. But sometimes it won't be burned all the way through and I can see that it's not. So it's taken a while. I'm going to try to add a little bit of accelerant to it with one hand okay because we want this burned completely because it was a pretty thick piece of paper and it wasn't parchment paper it was actually printer paper okay so let's see if that's completely burned yeah i'd say that it's crisp all right And we're just going to stick as much of that down in there as possible. And now it's not pink anymore, but it was beautiful while it lasted. But the energy is pink. OK, and by the way, we just had a pink moon. It's, you know, I've been really synchronized with a lot of this stuff. OK, all right. So I'm going to put uh, my label. Okay, because that's for women. And then we are going to do our binding knot. And so that's pretty much it for the sake of time. I'm going to let you guys go and just finish this out. Check out DivineServicesApothecary.com. And please like, follow, and share. All right. Blessings. Bye.